Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Sandra. I have another story for you today. I hope you're ready for it. I'm sitting here in my own house, in my own living room, all around me. I'm sitting in my rocking chair, right by the window, and just rocking. Do you have a rocking chair at your house? Do you like to rock in it sometimes? Well, my grandma had a rocking chair, and I remember her sitting in it and just rocking and rocking. And when I was a little kid, she would put me right in her lap and rock and rock and sing and sing. And I just love that so much. Well, today's Bible story is about some older people in the story. It's also about a time when Jesus' parents took him to the temple. Remember, a temple is kind of like a church. It's where the people went to worship God, to pray to God, and to give good gifts to God. And so, this story is all, all about that. I was just wondering, Jesus' parents took him to the temple. Do your parents bring you to church? Do your parents bring you, or maybe your grandparents, maybe an aunt or an uncle or friends, do they bring you to church? Well, good for them, because sometimes little kids can't get to church unless some grown-ups take them. And in this story, Jesus' parents take him to the temple. Now, here's a picture I want you to see. I'll hold it up right here, best I can. This is a picture of Mary and Joseph. Do you see them over here, Mary and Joseph? And Mary and Joseph are holding this little tiny baby, and that's the baby Jesus, of course. And this man right here, Simeon, is holding the baby Jesus. And look at the mom and dad's faces. They're just looking and listening to what Simeon has to say. And the baby Jesus is very tiny there. There's another older lady in this picture, and her name is Anna. And, uh, and we'll be talking about her also. So let me put the picture down and I'll share this story with you. Are you ready? Well, here we go. Jesus came to earth as a tiny baby. Remember that story last week? He was born in Bethlehem. Shepherds came to see the baby Jesus. His parents were Mary and Joseph. The boys and girls, there were, they were his earthly parents. They took good care of him. They did everything that um, the scripture, everything that God told them they should do in taking care of this very, very tiny baby. So one day when Jesus was tiny, they took him to the temple. And the temple was a very important place in their lives. Our church is important too. Their, their temple was very important because that's where you would go to worship, and that's where you would go to pray. And God had given many years ago, before Mary and Joseph, God had given them, the people, very special rules about the temple and about all of the people that he called his very own people. And he said, when a child is first born, you wait a few days, and then you take that child to the temple, and you present him to God. Well, that kind of means you say, thank you, God, for this special baby, and I will give him to you. Now, that doesn't mean really give him away and leave him in the temple, but what it means is, I promise to teach him what you want him to know. I promise to show him the way you would want to go. I promise to do everything that you would have me do to raise up this little child to know and to love you. Another thing they were required to do was to bring a gift or an offering to God with their baby. And they brought two tiny birds as an offering and they left them there at the temple in honor of their baby. A man named Simeon, let's look at him again. Here he is right here. There's Sim Simeon. A man named Simeon lived in Jerusalem and he loved God. And he knew that God had promised that someday he's going to send a savior. He's going to send a Messiah, a rescuer. He knew that was going to happen. And Simeon made this prayer to God. He said, God, please don't let me die. Please don't let me die until I get to see that savior. Please let me keep living. Well, Simeon got to be an old old man, but God promised that you will not leave this earth. You will not die until you actually 
get to see the baby. And so he stayed in the temple, he worked, he did lots of things for God in that temple, he prayed, he kept it very presentable, and then one day, Mary and Joseph brought their baby Jesus into the temple. And when Simeon saw the baby, he knew right away, this is the one, this is our Savior, this is our Messiah, this is the one that God has been talking about. All those years, hundreds and hundreds of years, God had been promising it, and now Simeon, Simeon, got to see that baby. He was so happy. He knew God had told him, this is the one. He knew that there was something special about this baby. This baby was different from any other child ever. And he was going to get to see and even hold that little baby. And he did. Simeon held the baby. And then he talked to Mary and Joseph and he said things like this. He said to Mary, being the mother of this baby, this Savior, is going to bring good, good things. It's going to bring some really, really good things to you. But it's going to be very hard to be the mama of this little boy. Some people would love him as he grows up. Some people would not love him. Some people would do good things for and with him. And some people would do some things that would hurt Mary very, very much. What Simeon did not say was this, that Jesus, this little baby boy, was going to grow up and he's going to be killed on the cross. And that's why Simeon said there would be some times that would be very, very hard because people would not like your, your son. While he was in the temple, Simeon, while he was there, there was a woman there and her name was Anna. And Anna was also very, very old. She didn't have a family. So she stayed at the temple all the time. And every single day, she worshiped God. Every single day. Well, when she saw Simeon and Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus, she thanked God. Right away, she knew this baby, this one, is very, very special. And she knew that people had waited a long, 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 long time, many hundreds of years. She had waited a long time. She was almost 100 years old. And she wanted also to see that baby. And when she saw the baby, uh, God told her, this is the one. This is the Savior. This is the one you have been waiting for all this time. And he is finally here. Mary and Joseph did everything they were supposed to do to raise up this little baby boy, Jesus. They went back home to the temple. They followed God's rules. They followed God's laws. They did everything they were supposed to do. And Jesus grew up. And he was strong. And he was healthy. And God was very pleased with Jesus. Isn't that a good story? It's a very, very good story. In the Old Testament, the people were told a Savior's coming. In the New Testament, He came. And that's the good news. That's the best news that God sent His Savior. Now, hmm, was Jesus God or was He man? Hmm, you know the answer. Jesus was all the way God. And He was all the way man at the same time. Isn't that wonderful to know that our Savior, our Savior, is all the way God and is all, was all the way man. And he is our King. He is our rescuer. And we are so thankful for that. Let me pray. Are you ready? Here we go. Dear God, I love the stories that you give us in your holy word. I, I love the stories that you give us that remind us that we are people, all the way people, and that you are all the way human, and that you are all the way God. 
your son is so, so special. I thank you so much for giving him to us to live as a baby, to live as a child, to live as a grown man, to teach about you, and then one day to die for me and all my sins. I love you, God, and I just want to thank you again and again. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. If you were to come to my house today, here's what you'd see me doing. Rocking and reading a book. Maybe all day long. <laughs> Bye, y'all. See you next time.